Howdy folks, this is Willis and uh, let's make this better. We've got our pool autofill system that I put together with an irrigation timer and an irrigation valve that turns the water on and off. The problem is that when the valve turns off, there's a pretty loud water hammer sound that uh, goes through the whole house, through the plumbing system. And uh, I'll demonstrate that. We'll turn the water on for just a second. Okay. The valve is now on. You can hear that thunk when the valve turns off. It's pretty loud and it's pretty annoying. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a water hammer arrestor here in line with the water supply from the house. We're going to take the hose bib off using a nipple. We're going to put this three-way elbow, this uh, funky right angle three-way elbow in here. And on this end, we're going to put the hose bib back in so that the hose goes out this way. And on the vertical end, we're going to put the water hammer arrestor in. Unfortunately, the water hammer arrestor hasn't arrived yet, so we're just going to plug it with this plug. And then when the hammer arrestor arrives, we'll pop that in and then test it out. So let's go and shut the water off. Okay, the water is now off, and what we're going to do is depressurize the system by turning this valve on again. So we'll use the sprinkler timer to do that. And uh, turned on, and we're going to turn it to off and it's now off. So the system is depressurized. Unhook the hose. Working over a piece of cardboard just to make sure everything stays nice and clean. Then we're going to use the crescent wrench. Hopefully this one will fit. Can use a pipe wrench for sure. But the crescent wrench is just a little kinder to the fittings. Take this off. Yeah, there we are. All right. now, there's a lot of water coming out there, so I'm just going to quickly plug that. Put the plug. I guess I could have anticipated that. And we'll build this real quick. So we're going to have the big threads come out this way. So we're going to use some pipe dope, um, pipe, Teflon pipe tape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open the uh, drain inside the house to in the sink that's right near here, the kitchen sink, and let that drain down so that uh, I don't have to deal with as much water running down. So let me do that. Okay, so now we've got Teflon tape on this three-quarter inch close nipple, and we're going to feed that into this nipple into here. And we're going to put some Teflon tape onto the hose bib and load that on, and it will turn on no problem, uh, it will screw on no problem. So some more Teflon tape, there are three wraps. The threads do not seal themselves, they have to be sealed with either Teflon tape or pipe dope. We'll go like this. Okay, now we're going to 
pull this out and uh, it's gonna be gonna be wet. And then we're gonna screw this in. this guy down so that it's really tight. And this way tightens. Okay, and now we're gonna put some Teflon tape on that plug. If I'd been really clever, I would have gotten two plugs. Didn't realize she would leak down quite this much. All right. So, bunch of Teflon tape on here. wrench. We're going to pull it out tomorrow, so just have to make sure that it's tight, tight enough to not leak. Good. All right. So now what we can do is repressurize the system and see if, uh, see if we've got any leaks here. We've turned the water back on. And now we'll see if we've got any leaks. Um, looks pretty good for now. Sometimes the leaks can be very slow. What we'll do is we'll turn on the water to the pool again. And turn it off. Okay, so that's been burped. And uh, looks okay for now. So all we need to do is wait for the pressure hammer arrestor to water hammer arrestor to arrive and pop it in here. Howdy folks. The water hammer arrestor has arrived. This is the Sioux Chief Hydro Arrestor and it's a three quarter inch uh, iron pipe thread. And what we've done is we've already shut the water off. Um, I already know that the water is off and we're going to remove the plug with a crescent wrench and then screw this guy back in and then test and make sure that uh, everything works and that this stops the water hammer. So let's get to it. Press wrench. And it just barely fits over the threads there, but that's good. I mean the, the flats, not the threads on the plug. Surprising how often one needs a crescent wrench. All right. So there might be a gush of water from above. I tried to drain the system. Then put two or three wraps of Teflon tape around this. Uh, you can use pipe dope if you like, but uh, Teflon tape has always worked for me and has uh, been a lot neater than using pipe dip. So screw this in hand tight and then we're going to really whale down on it with the, the wrench. Turn on the water. Um, turn this to off. The water is turned on here. 
We've turned the water back on. There's no leak at the threads here, so that's good. Now we're going to turn on the valve and see if it makes a thunk when it turns on and off. It's on now. We're going to turn it off now. Still makes a pretty good thunk out here, but the question will be how loud the thunk is inside. Um, and I'll tell you in an act after action report. And uh, But for now, we're done. Thanks very much for watching, and thanks for helping make this better.